Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline, Green Bay Packers fourth-round draft pick and BYU's all-time leading rusher, Jamal Williams. Jamal, welcome back to the show, man. What's up, brother? What's cracking, my vanilla bros? You guys good? <laughs> hey, it's good to talk to you, man. Good to hear your voice. And uh, we're excited to uh, read on a day-to-day basis about your progress with the Packers. I want to open with this, though. How do you pick the bike you're going to use to ride to practice each day? Well, well, my first day it was kind of hard because this little girl with a pink bike looking at me all happy with the cute eyes. You know those eyes from uh, Puss in Boots? <laughs> <laughs> yes, eyes. yes. <laughs> I was like, dang, I got to ride this little bike. But it, it was good, though. I rode that bike. But now I try to get bikes that I can actually put my feet on the pedals <laughs> so it won't be as much of a long, uh, <laughs> long little ride there. Where's Jamal? He's late to practice. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like right now as you're in the NFL, you're getting a paycheck, you're working hard. What What's this experience like for you so far? Uh, it's just, you know, everything that you've been dreaming of when you was little. But you, once you get here, it's just a little different. You just know it's business and it's a job now. But at the same time, you just got to love what you're doing and really just have a passion for it. But I'm just loving every minute of it. My first time just experiencing everything and I just want to just take it all in stride and just have fun with it. Talking with Jamal Williams, joining us live from Green Bay, Wisconsin. What has been the most eye-opening welcome to the NFL experience that you've had thus far? Hmm. I don't know yet. I think I still got a little bit more to go. But right now, I think it's just you wake up and it's football all day. It's really like a nine-to-five job. (laughs) But you start (laughs) at six, six to six to eight o'clock at night. You know, <laughs> you just having fun with it, but it's just every all it is is just football, football, football. Now, no more classes, no none of that. But you know, what can you, what else can you ask for? All I got is twenty four seven football now. Your offensive coordinator Edgar Bennett had some nice things to say about you, especially yesterday. You're getting some first team reps. How do you feel you're doing in training camp so far? I think I'm doing pretty good. I feel like every day is just you know come out with a new thing to work on and. Uh, just try to get uh, good habits to go into the game. And so that's really what you really want to just work on, just make sure that you have a good trait, good discipline, character traits that you can put into the game. And that's really what I've been working on, just really just making sure that I'm ready for the game and ready to do whatever I can to help uh, help us win. What's your interaction like with your former BYU teammates, Taysom Hill and Colby Pearson in training camp? Oh, you know, it's all good. It's great. You know, people just – to be like, oh, we got three BYU kids here. You know what I mean? Three <laughs> BYU. <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's great to have Kobe here and Taysom here, you know, two people I'm really familiar with and great to have. And, you know, we just really just keep pushing each other, working hard. And um, just, I'm, I'm very proud of what we're doing now, but every day we just making sure that we all together, we all working hard to make the team. I enjoyed watching the EA Sports Madden NFL video that you were in uh, where they had you guess your rating on different categories of skill. You were excited about your agility score. You were dancing. But then you gave what you called uh, some dookie emojis (laughs) to the overall score. How would you assess the Madden rating of 72 overall for you, Jamal? It ain't bad. I ain't going to lie. It ain't bad. I for sure thought they was going to do me even more dirty and give me like a a 66 or something. <laughs> <laughs> 72 ain't bad, you know, coming in. But, you know, that it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep rising every year. Every second, every game is going to keep rising. 72, not a bad start. Just for the record, that's one higher than Kyle Van Noy right now, Jamal. So you have that to your credit. Oh, snap. One higher than the great Kyle Van Noy the KVN. <laughs> <laughs> you outrate Kyle Van Noy, so uh, you can use that how you want with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him, too. I'm going to text him today. <laughs> <laughs> he's going gonna to send you a picture of uh, his uh, Super Bowl ring, probably. <laughs> he probably will. <laughs> Jamal Williams will with us from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Uh, fun to catch up with him on what's going on in Packers camp right now. Which teammates – have become your mentors in learning the ins and outs of the Green Bay Packers? Uh, I really think I just keep talking to a lot of people. I, I really talk to Lance Kendrick, uh, Martellus Bennett, uh, Ty, Aaron Rakowski, 
um, Kenny Clark because we from the same spot, from the IE. So it's always good talking to him about things. So I mean, everybody here is really just really just open arms, and they really want to help out as long you know, ask questions, do whatever you can to, so they can uh, teach you. But really it is. It's just everybody's just great here. Everybody just want everybody to do good, and we really just want to have a great team and have a great season. I know you want to blend in and you want to be cool, but was there a moment where you caught a pass from Aaron Rodgers and you were like, oh, my gosh, that was Aaron Rodgers. He just threw a pass to me, and luckily I didn't drop it. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I think when I first got here, like, I was low-key, like, yeah, that's Aaron Rodgers. But, you know, when he <laughs> – because he was asking questions, especially when you, like, line up beside of him, you got to, like, tell him what your assignment is. And he was like, what you got here? And I and I told him, and I called him sir at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> he, was like, he was like, what's your route? And I was like, oh, I got a swing, sir. <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, I thought about it. I was like, I just called this man sir. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but now it's, it's more of um, – now I could just ask him questions, and if I have anything about the offense, he, you know, he's willing to answer them because he want to make sure that all of us are on the same page and everybody on the field knows what they're doing, so we can all go 100 percent and just have fun out there. Well, according to your offensive coordinator Edgar Bennett, you are performing pretty well in understanding the offense and where you're supposed to be and which blocks you're supposed to pick up in pass protection. What kind of a role do you expect to play in your rookie season, Jamal? Um. I don't know. I'm I'm just trying to get on the field wherever I can and do whatever I can to get on there and you know just once I have my chance my chances you know just make the opportunities count and so you know once I get my opportunities that's when I show what I can do and just to let them know you know I pay attention and I'm doing whatever I can working hard to get on the field and and be part of this Packers team to help us win the Super Bowl. How many times are you lined up with Taysom Hill at quarterback and Colby Pearson on the field like the three of you together? Mm, it's happened before. It happened a couple of times. But, you know, uh, Taysom, he he be letting them go, especially with Kobe. He let, he let at least like five of them go that I see. Every time I see him throw a deep, it's for sure going to Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get him on the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How has the Packers community embraced you? Because I feel like there are some – I don't know, kind of cohesive attributes that the BYU fan base and the Green Bay Packer fan base share. So what what has that been like as you've been embraced by the Packers fans? Um, Packer fans everywhere, just like BYU fans are. Uh, Packer fans are, you know, like once they know that you care and you kind to them, it goes a long way with them. And, you know, taking time out your time to sign anything for them and do things like that, it goes a long way, and they really do see that. And, you know, uh, Green Bay is really a small town. It's really sociable, so everybody almost pretty much know everybody. So you do things like that, you know, people will notice, and even people who haven't, even, who didn't even see it, would know about it. So you just pretty much just be, you know, be kind to them. Everybody's all kind out here. They all they really want to do is just just admire you and just say, you know, good luck, and we're just proud to have you as a Packer. So, but I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be on a great team with. Uh, uh, players who know how to win and players who are very good at being professional. So I have good people to look at, um, great role models to to watch and just learn from them. Have you located the uh, local skating rink in Green Bay? Not yet. I'll probably <laughs> do it at the training camp. At the training camp, then I'll start, you know, going out and looking for stuff. <laughs> and you you opened up a website, Jay Swag Daddy. You know, your brand. Marcus Allen requested some on, on Twitter, the NFL Hall of Famer, the Pro Football Hall of Famer. Did you hook him up? Oh, for real? I'm going to get everything. You know, you get to – I'm going to start uh, promoting. I don't like doing it, but, you know, go to jswagdaddy.com. Go ahead and get your little phone case, pillows, some shirts, you know, <laughs> Darren Spence. You go, you go – you going to support your boy? Absolutely. You, you know we're like all that. over that. Absolutely, you know, I'm gonna have, man. I'm going to have to make a, a special edition it's called the Vanilla Men and put y'all faces on <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. Yes. We need this stuff for Studio B. Jamal, uh, great to talk to you, man. We miss you, but we're excited for you. Uh, take some BYU Sports Nation karma to keep rocking and rolling in training camp, man. I appreciate it, y'all. Thank you.